So let's take the first question. Assalamu alaikum. I am Faiz Hussain from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I am a school student. If a Muslim commits suicide, will he be a dweller of hellfire forever? Will his punishment never end even if he was a righteous person in this worldly life and performed ibadah to Allah? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran in Surah Nisa chapter number 4 verse number 29 وَلَا تَقْتُلُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ And kill not yourself. So suicide it is clearly prohibited in the glorious Quran. And suicide it is a major sin. According to Imam al-Dhahabi, he writes in his book Al-Kabair, the 70 major sins, wherein he lists the major sins. And he says that suicide, it is on number 29 in his list of major sins. So suicide, it is clearly prohibited in Islam. And the punishment for the person who commits suicide, it is mentioned in the hadith of Abu Lord Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, wherein he said that if a person kills himself with a piece of iron, then on the day of judgment in hellfire, he will kill himself again and again in the same manner with the piece of iron. If a person drinks poison and kills himself, then in the hereafter in hellfire, he will keep drinking this poison and will do it again and again. So the punishment for the person who commits suicide is that he will kill himself the same way in hellfire. And suicide, it is never the solution. This life, it is a test for the hereafter. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, Surah Mulk, chapter number 67, verse number 2, Alladhi khalaqa al-mawta wal-hayata liyabluwakum ayyukum ahsanu amala. It is Allah who has created death and life to test which of you are good in deeds. This life, it is a test for the hereafter. So even if a person has trials and tribulations, he has to bear it with patience and perseverance. And if a person commits suicide, he is being ungrateful to the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And one of the pillars of Iman as we know, it is believing in Qadr, that is destiny, whether it be good or bad. So even if there are trials, even if there are tribulations, a person has to bear it with patience. And a believer's situation, it is always a win-win situation. If good befalls him, he is grateful and thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if there is any test or any tribulation, he bears it with patience and he will be rewarded for it. So for a believer, it's a win-win situation. And suicide, it is never the solution. And as you asked in a question that the person he has committed suicide and if he performs ibadah and if he's a righteous person will he go to paradise a true and a practicing believer a true and a practicing muslim he will never commit suicide because he will never give up on the life on the trials and tribulations in this world he will be patient and he will be content with whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed upon him. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, Surah Nisa chapter number 4 verse number 48, Surah Nisa chapter number 4 verse number 116, Inna Allah la yaghfiru an yushraka bih, wa yaghfiru ma duna dhalik li min yasha. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He will not forgive the sin of shirk, but He may forgive any other sin if He pleases. So if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pleases, He may forgive your sins even if it be suicide and he may directly admit you into the gardens of paradise if Allah wishes he may punish you in hellfire for some time and later on admit you into the gardens of paradise it is Allah's prerogative and Abdul Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said that anyone who says la ilaha illallah anyone who believes in the shahada that is la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah there is no God but Allah and Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is a messenger he will enter paradise and Abdul Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said in another hadith that anyone who has an atom's weight of Iman in his heart, he will enter paradise. So eventually the believers, even if they have an atom's weight of Iman in their heart, eventually they will enter paradise. So we should never despair of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even if we are tested, even if we are trial, even if there are tribulations in this life, 
Our main focus, our main goal should be attaining the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, should be attaining Jannah. And if this is our main goal, even if we have trials and tribulations in this life, we know that it is temporary. But the home of the hereafter, it is eternal and it is everlasting. And the believers, they will abide in paradise forever. So the life of the hereafter, it is eternal and it is everlasting.